DNA analysis upends long-held assumptions about Pompeii victims' final moments. CNN Ancient DNA recovered from Pompeii shows that people found holding one another beneath the volcanic ash weren't related in the ways we think. Below are your comments. Having been to Pompeii when I was a kid and seeing this in person was quite the experience. Back then, the 60s, people in stone laid out where they fell. At that time one could also walk to the mouth of Vesuvius and look down into it, and I did. Took a piece of lava too. That is history. That I. See more. This highlights the limitation and the great potential for misinterpretation inherent in the soft. Sciences of archaeology and anthropology. When a person sets out to form a hypothesis from scant clues, they must necessarily inject a lot of their own perspectives into the process, including their own biases. So what they found was humans helping humans in time of tragedy. Adults trying to protect children no matter who they were. Unlike today when it is everyone for themselves, these people lived in a village that took care of tea. Air own. An adult with a child doesn't necessarily have to be a parent. She could be a slave who is a sort of nanny for the child of a wealthy homeowner. Other couples could likewise have other relationships that are open to misinterpretations. What I believe is so fascinating about Pompeii are the snapshots of the tragedy of that day, frozen. In time. I studied archaeology and anthropology for years at university, so needless to say, this article is oh. F great interest. I appreciate the perspective of this one, avoiding assumptions. I have always been disturbed when scientists extrapolate broad assumptions from scant evidence. I understand the desire to understand, to increase knowledge, but too much speculation based on tiny samples out of context doesn't really help. Not all archaeologists and anthropologists do this of course. Some of the speculations come from media reporters who want to write a compelling story that will gr. ab readers' attention. What I always try to do is focus on the detectable bits we can extract from WH. That's been left behind. DNA studies can tell us a lot, such as gender, hair and eye color. Yes, this is possible. Age, family relationship, health and probable geographic origins. What it can't tell us much about are the social, political, behavioral and emotional lives of DNA saw. MP less. Anthropological studies can help with that. Archaeology. Studying physical remains. And anthropology. Behavior. Taken together give us limited pictures of ancestors and their lives. We should always be skeptical. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.